is captain this year in Skylar Woodward, who's played at every single Moscone Cup since making his debut in 2015. It is one apiece. So who adds another point here to talk you through our third match on day one? Here's Alison Fisher and Phil Yates. Emma, thank you very much indeed. The lag has been won. Oh, this is very tight, I think, just by Europe. That was a matter of millimetres, Alison. Yes, it was. This is going to be one hell of a match, I can assure you of that. It is Germany's finest, Joshua Fuller, one of six Germans to have represented Europe in the Moscone Cup over the years. That was a, a beautiful break there. That's probably one of the best breaks that I've seen so far, Phil. Understated and very efficient. And that's what they're trying to do, is make that one ball in the side pocket. He's controlled the cue ball and he's got a nice shot on the two ball here. It's a dream start for Joshua. Hey, what was the time? I did ask him to stop it, I reset it. I think there's a problem with the, the lighting at the moment, please? so the Can we referee, the Brendan Moore, has asked for the, the clock like to be stopped. Filler will not incur any time penalties. While there's this little hiatus in play, Alison, I know Emma touched on this at the top of the show, how different is this Moscone Cup and how much has it grown since those humble beginnings <laughs> at that rollerblade this place one. in 1994 in Romford, oh, Essex? It's unbelievable, isn't it? 28 years ago, half a team was made up of snooker players and half of English pool players, and uh, we didn't know what we were doing, really, but look at it now, it's incredible. Emily Fraser and all of the Matchroom team have put together another wonderful show. They do it so often now throughout the year. Of course, the vast majority of events are individual tournaments. And when it comes to the relative success of these two in 2022, individually, there should be only one winner. Filler, who's had an absolutely extraordinary year. How about this? He started off the calendar year with 23 consecutive top 10 finishes. That's and we know the, the level of competition in international pool these days, Alison. That's what I was going to say. And he's still so young and so much to do yet. And uh, what consistency is one of the greatest shot makers in the world today. But not only that, he plays a very creative game. I love to watch him play. One of the bedrocks of his game, apart from the fact he's got abundant skill, he's so, so confident. Self-belief oozing from every pore, and that really helps in this kind of harsh environment. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen anyone as confident as him. Maybe aside from Jason Shaw, the other really great temperament and, and natural ability out there. You know, in top-class nine-ball pool, we see a lot of break-in run-outs. Not today so far. But that bucks the trend. That's the first. And Joshua Filler is off to an absolutely ideal start. Not just winning the first rack, absolutely dominating it. And here's a thought. Will history repeat itself? In the first singles of last year's Moscone Cup, Joshua Filler won it. He overcame Shane Van Boning 5-2. That established the fact that he was loving life and at the end of the Moscone Cup he certainly did. He potted the winning nine ball. It's always... Six victory. Yeah, so it's always the thrill, isn't it, to be the one who makes that last ball and you're carried around the arena and then they all jump on the table at the end. In our previous match, Alison, we saw the oldest of a player to appear in the Moscone Cup, Earl Strickland, who's 61. When Joshua Filler made his debut in 2017, 
He was the youngest player in Moscone Cup history at the age of 20. Yeah, it's incredible, the age difference. And the fact that Earl's here, I think, is, is amazing and a wonderful thing for the sport. He's been a multi-world champion and he absolutely deserves to be here. Woodward needs to make his presence felt. I noticed uh, in the last match in the doubles that the Americans struggled with the break and uh, they need to figure that out pretty quickly, don't they, out here? So here's the question, Alison. You were at the Palace, or should I say Windsor Castle recently, getting your MBE. Born in Peacehaven in Sussex, but you're an American citizen as well now, so who do you support? I know, I'm really on the fence because I've been 27 years in both countries. It's quite amazing. I'm Switzerland at the moment, aren't I? Yeah, that was an amazing feeling and uh, a very surreal moment for me. I'm very honoured. Well, I must say, it was a, a deserved award, if ever there was one. Thank You've not you just friend. dominated women's pool over the years. In women's snooker, I've got a very long memory. You did so, so well there. High break, 1-4-4, I believe. Yes, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. It's almost, I can't believe it's happened to me. I've had a really tremendous and long career. And I've loved every moment of being over in the States, too. That was a nice shot played by Joshua. Not an easy shot. It had to spin a lot, spin the ball a lot there. And we can see that Sky is eyeing up. He's a great player with the jump cue, Sky. But this is a tricky one because it's almost more than a half ball cut here. If he chooses to play it, to go for it, or is he going to try and hide that cue ball behind the 6 7? Well, he went for it. Luck favours the brave. He overrun that a little bit there. Can you see the edge of the one ball there? Is it a possible bank? It's a little hard to tell from this angle. Well, if a bank is available, Woodward is your man. OK, he's a great talent in all areas of the game, we can see there. Wow, just as we, just as we called it, that was a great shot. I love uh, Sky's temperament for the game. He is so chill. And that settles down the, the rest of the team, too, when you have a player like this in the team. Yeah, there's a former Moscone Cup player for the USA called Billy Thorpe. They call him Billy the Banker. I think we should start calling Skyler Skyler the Shotmaker. <laughs> he has certainly helped the USA to victory in the past years been a most important member of the team. It's well documented he won back-to-back -back MVP awards in 2018 and 2019. And only three players in the tournament's history have won MVPs back-to-back. -back. Woodward, Niels Fyan and Jason Shaw. He's in good company there. Definitely. I think they were talking about that in the press conference yesterday, how Shane hasn't, and that's one of the goals, isn't it, to be an MVP? Shouldn't be many obstacles here now, Alison. No, looks like a straightforward run out to equal the score. And this will absolutely settle 
Sky Down. I think the, the singles are so important in this, aren't they? Because it gives the players a chance to be at the table a lot more and they can get into their own rhythm. Pretty much always the case that the highest quality and most fluent pool you see in the Moscone Cup. You will see it in a singles match, and that's being born out here so far. Two rapid racks have been shared. Skyler Woodward, the man from Paducah, Kentucky, now based in Lubbock, Texas, equalizes. It's USA 1, Europe 1, and the only singles here today. Well, the music is John Denver, Take Me Home, Country Roads. And Skyler Woodward is country through and through, isn't he? He's got Absolutely. that wonderful accent. And, and look at the crowd getting into this. 2,500 people in this audience enjoying every moment of this. It's so appropriate for this arena. There's something very, very special about this event. And I think Carl Boynes was quite correct at the top of the show when he said that the home of pool really is the United States of America. He did it again. He made that uh, one ball in the side pocket. This is uh, going to be a little safety shot from Joshua. He's not left a... Uh, an open shot on the two ball. So he's looking at spinning the ball around. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. Delicate beauty there. I've always said this, Alison, because he is such a wonderful attacking player, often his tactical game is overlooked. Definitely, but I also think in that leadership role of Alex Laley being the captain, he works hard on things like that with the players, so they have that all-round game. They're not just all great shot makers, they're great kickers, bankers and tactical players as well. I think Alex has been very valuable to the team. Mind you, Fillers, hook there. Didn't reap any immediate rewards. I'd say that was a little fortunate the way the nine ball ran across there. I think he played to catch the two ball a little bit thinner than that and use the eight ball as a blocker. If he catches this right, and he can only see an edge, he could make this shot here. Beautifully played. With natural position to the three, that was perfect. And he seems to rise to the occasion of the Moscone Cup, doesn't he, Phil? Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. What he's done in this event outshines what he does week in, week out individually. And I think his track record with Joshua is very good from past Moscone Cups. And he's also playing the role of vice-captain this year, isn't he? Yeah, he was saying at the press conference yesterday that he's always been fascinated by the strategy and the tactics of team sports. And I think he's really bought into it. And the extra responsibility he sees as a massive honour. And I think it's elevated just what he thinks about the Moscone Cup. If that could be elevated from where it was. I think it's a, a natural growth for him, isn't it? He's been in it plenty of times now, MVP a couple of times. And I think it's a natural progression for him. Yeah. 
Extension. The way he's looking there, maybe he saw a little fibre on his Q-tip and just wanted to get rid of that out of the eye line before he played this important seven. That's good self-control to stop yourself and start again. Beautifully played right in the heart of the pocket of these four-inch pockets. It should be a winning nine ball for Skylar Woodward, but it's not an absolute gimme, this. Any ball can be missed at the Moscow kneecap. Wow, Phil, you called that. <laughs> Last year it was Chris Reinholds missed five ball that was the turning point. I'm just wondering, will this be an early turning point in the 29th edition? No mistake from Joshua Filler, but what a blunder from Skylar Woodward. I just thought I'd throw it out there that he might miss. I never expected he would. No, it Lead was... 2-1. Yeah, it was a 50... Missing any ball in the Moscone Cup hurts. But it's maximum hurts when it's a nine ball. And for someone like Skylar Woodward, a routine nine ball as well. And to be frank, he overcut that by some distance. Alison Fisher, that really was a surprise to everyone and to 
Joshua Filler a pleasant surprise. Very much so. That was a shocking miss. It was one on the 50-yard line, and uh, he played that rack so beautifully, did all the hard work, only to miss the nine ball. I'm not saying that he can forget that easily, but he will ease the memory of it if he breaks and runs here. Well, he's given himself a great opportunity here, made that one ball in the side. Pocket and uh, the balls are nicely spread. A big rack for Sky here. There's a theory in Q Sports that when you make a, a bad mistake, the balls don't forgive you for a while. Well, I think they've forgiven Woodward immediately. It's a beautiful table to run out this. That was a nicely played shot, nicely negotiated there off the third rail. I think some of that about the poor gods it comes down to attitude too doesn't it he had to sit there and stew in his chair for a minute while we had that break after the third rack and uh, but he's come out firing now come out with a good break and hopefully he can make the most of this rack this is where mental fortitude is so important envisage any problems but then again we didn't see any coming in the previous rack nicely played he's really getting the speed down Phil isn't he Essentially unmissable. And so, another break in run out. The quality of the pool is going up exponentially. Just what you would expect in the first singles of this 2022 Moscone Cup. And in this contest, the USA are back on level terms. It's 2 2. And that soothes the pain of what happened in Rack 3. That definitely put a smile back on his face. And puts the pressure on Joshua now. Every point is so important in the Moscone. Of course it is. But I think this one really is a, a pivotal match. If Filler can win it, Europe will be two on ahead and they'll have recovered from the, the loss in the team contest that got things underway. But if Team USA can win this match, Skyler Woodward comes through with the point, the vice captain. Then all of a sudden you're thinking, can they lead overnight? Well, it's the morale of the whole team, isn't it? That's what it boils down to. If you can pull this point off, it is, it is quite big for the USA. Going into that last match. Let's see where that one ball's tracking. Is there room for the two? Well, if anyone can squeeze it by the four, Joshua Fuller can. We've seen that a couple of times, haven't we, where that one ball tracks over to that corner, often not making it. Yeah, it looks like it goes. Right in the heart of the pocket. Such an inspirational potter. Sometimes you can take him for granted. Yeah, he never questions himself. He never stands there and really thinks about it or talks himself out of something. He's, he's positive all the way. I don't want that bump on the nine there.
really had... makes this game look so easy, doesn't it, Phil? He does, and he's had so much success this year. For me, the highlight was when he won the UK Open. Came back against Francisco Sanchez Ruiz in the final and potted so well down the stretch. It was as though, as the pressure increased, so did Fuller's efficiency. Well, he's a type of player who doesn't waste much energy. I always think with these fast flowing players that their stamina is, is a little stronger than the sort of slower, methodical players. They're using less energy. You know, and we could see that obviously with Francisco Ruiz too, can't we? With, he's that type of player too. Jason Shaw, champions, all of them. It's day one, new cloth. It slipped in there, didn't it? I don't think we'll see that on some of the other days. Tell you what, though, Phyllis' break-off has been very good so far. In the the rack he broke and didn't run out. If you recall, he was very unlucky, didn't get any shape on the two. Yeah. Scarlett Woodward, right. therefore, knows he's got a real handful. So if Filler can win this rack against the break, he'll be on the hill. He's, he's managing to get that one in that side pocket, isn't he? I really, I think I like this this break rule, you know, in the box there that we can see the two lines and the centre diamonds and the nine on the spot. I think it's changed the game for the better. And no matter what you throw at these players, they'll figure it out. shot as we say Skyler the shot maker fantastic one more match to come after this of course at doubles but this singles is absolutely intriguing two terrific players producing top quality pool in the most extraordinary sporting environment there it is 2-9 all is fine
in golf, the Ryder Cup is USA against Europe. A former captain, Mark James, wrote a book entitled Into the Bear Pit. Into the Bear Pit, indeed, here at Bally's as the Moscone Cup gets underway. Day one, two points already have been apportioned. One to Europe, one to the USA. This third point in this first singles is so crucial. But Joshua Filler looks as though he's practicing at home with his wife, Pierre Filler, who's also a fine player. He's breaking brilliantly. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? You could see the life come back into sky. And uh, really, when you see the player break like that, it sort of drains out again, doesn't it? Now, there you see the tolerances, Alison. He caught that one just slightly thick, yeah. and it made all the difference. It gave him a few anxious seconds. Definitely. He's, uh, he's hit some balls he shouldn't have, hasn't he, along the way here? He's, uh, but the shot maker he is, he doesn't let it affect him. Whereas we saw Earl in the other match, everything Earl does is not good enough in his mind. It doesn't matter where he lands, it could be perfect. Like Sky's going to have a little bit more pressure on him when, when he breaks next back. And you remember the lag, it was a matter of millimeters, it could be so so important. Well, the way Joshua is breaking, he's going to be hard to stop in this match, let alone the shot making side of it. <laughs> There's a school of thought that if Filler is breaking well, you might as well go home. <laughs> well, he doesn't miss much. You've got to keep him sitting in the chair. A hat trick of break and run outs for the inspirational German who regains the lead at 4 3. He's on the hill. Scarlet Woodward under all sorts of pressure. Three breaking run outs in a, a race to nine is reasonable. Yeah, this, a race to five, it's wonderful. It's unbelievable, isn't it, the way he's handling this table. He makes the pockets look big too, doesn't he? The four inch pockets here, the Moscone Cup. The break-off is so, so important. And also, gelling in doubles. Next up, it is Jason Shaw and Alban Auschen, Austria and Scotland for Europe in the last match of the day, up against Shane Van Boning and Tyler Steyer. The Europeans practice the way. See what Skyler's got for his next break. See if he makes that one in the side. There it goes. Wow! Look at that! Nine behind the break, the golden break. His face, Phil. You can't believe it. That's incredible. What a time to do it. That was simply sensational. Look at the crowd. Michael Littman, Rahan are there, friends of mine. Amazing. This is electrifying for the crowd. They're jumping to their feet now. Sky, look at him. When you play these Vegas showrooms, it's all about timing. And Woodward's was impeccable there. You know, downtown here, there's a casino, famous casino, called the Golden Nugget. And that was a nugget for Skyler Woodward. Absolutely.
Does that class as a break and run, Phil? I think it does. <laughs> and as I said before, into the bear pit. Now, Joshua Fillers breaking has been wonderful in this match. Will it stand up in the deciding rack? Hill Hill, let's go. Still made a ball on the break. He's got a very thin cut here, but there's a really good safety shot if he wants to, to drift behind next to the seven ball with the cue ball. Blockers there. That's a nice shot you played. Patient. I'll tell you what, that's quite a tough hit. It is. Also terrific refereeing, Brendan Moore there, the referee was perfectly placed to see whether the legitimate hit had taken place. Yes, all important, these referees, they don't have an easy task here at this Moscone Cup. That was a very nice shot too, he broke the six and the... The five out there. And just used the two ball. Well, in terms of standard and drama, this has been the best match so far. Yeah, I think we're going to get that more with the singles where they can just get into their game a little bit better. But I'm really looking forward to the next doubles match too. He caught that a little bit thick. He wanted to thin off the one and go around the back and snooker Joshua. Look at the fans out there. So he's looking at making this one pass to three there and a two seven combo. It's a tough blind pocket shot, but not one you expected him to miss with his ability. So this is where the pressure's on, 4-4. This is a massive point. played so we go 2-7 got a really bear down on this shot the room is a buzz beautifully played he controlled the two ball there too very nice shot Just got to hold his nerve together here. Landed a little bit flat on the three. Would like to have had a little bit more angle just to flick it round two rails. That shouldn't pose any problem to Sky. He's been playing catch-up the entire match. 1-0, 2-1, 3-2 and 4-3 down. Is the only time he's going to be in front when it matters most. This is all that counts, but 
Yes, she had a 2 9 combo and that golden break. Amazing. Yeah. Incredible play. Great match here. Yeah. The vice captain is showing his worth. He's playing a captain's innings. Good luck, take your time. the best match so far. USA's vice captain doing vice captain things. In a race to 11 points, it is USA 2, Europe 1. One match still to come. What a session so far. To doubles, we go next.